people, this is their focus cycle, a very advanced model. Everything that happens in their life is put into one category. This is the stuff in my life. This is what I need to worry about. This is what I need to spend my emotional and my mental energy on. Because if I don't, it can go wrong. If you don't, things will get messed up. But that, of course, is a very faulty model. Because like I just said, you can't influence everything. You, can't, you don't have the power to change everything in your life. The model should look like this, with a core of things that you can control, things you can influence, things you can change, and then the white circle outside with things that are beyond your control. If you ever catch yourself worrying about stuff in the white zone, think about something else, do something else, get distracted, because it's a waste of energy. You can't change it. You can't change the weather. You can't change the volcano. You can't change the grades on your paper after you've turned in your exam. How many people have done that? Turn in a test and then gone for three weeks worrying about what the result's going to be like. Waste of time. You can't change it. You can't call up your teacher and go, oh, could you add this to that answer? It doesn't work like, like that. It's a waste of energy. So stop doing it. Start thinking about what can I actually change? What do I have power over? Because that is the only thing that matters. If the tests come back and you fail and you have to do it again, worry about it then, not before. Michael Neal is a famous author and, and success coach, and he says that about 98, well, a lot of people says this, 98% of what we worry about never happens. So stop worrying that much. It's not worth it. It's a waste of time. 